How's everybody? This is the Erroneous One here with a new Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video and... Erroneous One and Cat. Yes. Um... Sorry, Cat just suddenly just jumped in right there. Here she is. So, big day guys. Big day. A day we've all been anticipating for ever and a time period. And she came a lot quicker than a lot of us thought. Um, honestly, I was under the assumption that we'd probably get her like towards the middle or end of August. Now it looks like it's going to be like Sephiroth EX is going to come out towards the middle or end of August more than likely. So that's going to be the next medal to save your money, your jewels for. But 0 0.2 Kyrie, the breaker of meta, has arrived. So we're going to go over these two updates real quick. Um, well, actually, we'll go over the version updates first. We'll, well, there's three here. So thank you for playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Uh, we got some new updates, of course. Um, I added a completion percentage to the quest selection, and if, if, I'll show you guys in a second as well, too. Um, and all those. Uh, it added completion icon event special banners when you fully complete a challenge board. If applicable, a completion icon will become filled in. This is pretty cool. Uh, new, this is one I'm actually really excited for. Added MVP rewards to Union Cross. There are two categories for MVP rewards now. Total damage done and number of times reviving a player. The damage, the damage MVP status will be awarded to the player who does the most total damage during the quest. The player revival MVP stats will be awarded to the players. To the player who receives the most uh, revives the most other players while in the down state. Rewards will be given for both MVP statuses. Should no players need to be revived during a quest, all players will receive the MVP award for that category. This is an added incentive if your party can handle that kind of thing. This is kind of cool. Um, it's not going to stop those people who just stand there behind trees or bushes or whatever and don't do anything. They're, they're just there to get free coins and not care for the most part. Um, but it does give more incentive to run around and do things to actually compete in the Union Cross events to get the, during like those bonus hours in particular to get um, more coins and such. So that's a pretty cool little... Uh, change up there and it makes Union Cross a little more viable. Uh, I do like how they're trying to get things more viable for the multiplayer. Because let's be honest, before they started doing these kind of changes, nobody was really too interested in the multiplayer. It was just it, it was it was a chore. So I'm glad to see these kind of things here too. Um, here's the biggest one though. This is the change to party looks ranking specifications. After joining a party, the Lux button cannot be pressed until after eleven fifty nine PM. Essentially at the twelve AM the next day. The Lux button uh, will be passable again after the remaining time, after the remaining the same party beyond um, 11:59 p.m. Party lux rankings will refresh in real time, previously once a day, which that's kind of cool. I do like that. Um, party lux totals will be the sum of lux accumulated by each member while they are in that specific party. Even if a member leaves the party, that member's accumulated lux will not disappear from the overall party lux total. If a player joins a party, the lux that was accumulated before joining the party will not be added to the overall party lux total. So. They're essentially making it harder for people to um, make essentially make super parties up to a point, you know, to win rewards. So during like Union War weeks and everything, it's you kind of have to sing in your party up to a point in order to keep your party progressing further, um, or to get those those higher tier spots, like you know the one through five spots for the rewards and such. So interesting for that. At this point in time, honestly, I'm just waiting for them to institute a same version of this only for the the solo rankings. Saying that if you keep on party hopping around like that, then your Lux isn't going to go with you. You know, it, I mean, at this point, I see that happening now. So, let's see how that goes. Um, added a category to filter outfits, accessories by each perk, which is actually very useful. Now you can just find things a lot quicker, and it helps people get things ready to go faster for different outfit categories for different specific setups. Be it um, skill perks, raid perks, omega raid perks, item drop perks, rare enemy perks. That's what's going to happen now. That's actually a very useful feature. I do like that. And it uh, varies UI tweaks and enlarges banner sizes on the home screen to make it more easy to read. Uh, the home screen can now display up to five banners at a time. Avatar board um, selection screen for boards. Let's just use those. Oh, I need those buttons now appear there, so you can just go there and not have to leave, leave the app or leave that section, which is pretty cool. And on the middle of the screen, a special attack bonus icon will now display near the particular metal, which is kind of cool. And other minor bug features. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's that. So that's the older one, but I didn't talk about it earlier, so there it is real fast. Um, here's the big thing. Uh, this is our first damage contest for the Chernobog, uh, yeah, Chernobog medal. He is actually pretty beastly. Um, I'm not sure how this event works exactly. I know that the enemy is a speed enemy. I don't know what it is just yet. Um, I know the goal is to deal as much damage as possible. And I've heard that the rewards are pretty steep. It's, it's not going to be an easy, an easy thing, apparently. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, in this event, the rankings are determined by the amount of damage dealt to the enemy, okay? The enemy will flee after the attack counter hits zero, so, okay. Um, interesting enough that too as well. 
uh, inflict as much damage as possible before they run. Um, score big for the final for the final rankings to win a Chernobog medal with its special attack pre-strengthened to five dots along with other great prizes. So I'm, I'm going to assume it's going to be a lot like the high school challenges where you get in top 1,000, you get your one that's orb five, and then um, you get two loose ones uh, for reaching a, a score a goal. You're going to score a goal there um, to guilt it and get traits. Uh, if you fall in battle, you will not be able to continue. All right. Um, you can also equip uh, score bonus medals to boost your score. So here's Chernobong. He's going to be good. Like I said, he's a tier 5. He does 4 extremely powerful hits. Lower target's defense by 3 tiers for 1 attack. Basically his, his attack. And he's a 6 gauge cost, single target. But he is very powerful from what I have understood. So there we go for that. Good to know. Um, here's a big one though, guys. 0.2 Kyrie. Oh, <laughs> she's here, guys. Uh, I've already pulled for her. I pulled. I did three pulls throughout the day at work. Uh, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and then once as I was getting ready to leave. And on the third one, as I was going to leave, I pulled her once. But I will be doing a pull video later on, for, uh, doing about eight more pulls, I think it is, um, afterwards to get another one of her. Hopefully two more of her, so I really want to try and get uh, double casting her. So we'll see how that goes. Um, don't know. Looking forward to that. Um, but here she is. Uh, you guaranteed her within uh, five draws. She's a five mercy. Thank you, Cena, so much for that one. Uh, it seems like the. I mean, it seems like the Kyries are like five mercy pulls now, which is great. Uh, minus, minus the uh, first, the first time Illish the Kyrie released, she was a, a ten mercy. But um, Kingdom Hearts two Illish the Kyrie was a five mercy pull, and now zero point two Kyrie is a five mercy pull. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's great considering how great she is and how good she is. I'm glad to see she's a five mercy pull. That's a great job from Cena. I have seen so far that the pull rate for her is very, very good, uh, which is again, good job on you, Cena. I've seen a lot of, uh, first, uh, like, uh, first pulls getting her in those first pulls. Great job, Cena. This is something that a lot of players need and it helps so many players out. So good job. Um, that's actually very awesome. Uh, so let's go down to what she does here. Um, she does three big things. Uh, she uh, raises your strength by six tiers and your PSM strength by one tier for one turn. And then she lowers your enemy's defense and PSM defense by one tier for one turn. She also significantly recovers your HP. The only thing she does not do is restore your SP gauge. If she did that, she would be just like horrifically broken. <laughs> um, so any form of like um an AP or uh, yeah you know basically a um an APP skill on her looks to be really really good um unless you need to put like a second chance or second chance two on her, which you could need to do that. Since my illustrated since my Tyree has second chance two on her, I don't really need her on this one. So I'm probably gonna throw um an AB four plus APP on her to get some gauge back uh, from damage dealt, and that's what I'm gonna do for her. And she's a two gauge cost, which is again amazing. Getting double cast on this on this metal. Oh, getting double cast in this metal, guys, is going to be really, really, really good. Now, it's the, obviously, the general strength um, caps at 7, but you're going to be getting t uh, two tiers of PSM up, two tiers of PSM down, and two tiers of general defense down on enemies for four gauges, essentially, is even without AVP, is phenomenal. And that's going to be an amazing, amazing thing. So, I'm hoping that is what she gets. Uh, I mean, obviously, I want to get that on her eventually, but, you know, we'll find out. Um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Those are the updates. Some big updates, too. This is kind of brief. I kind of want to get to the point and, and going because I really want to start doing um, my pulls for her again, and I really want to do the um, damage challenge. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Coming up soon, right after this upload, is going to be... Um, is going to be uh, my pull video, and following that is going to be um, my damage challenge video. So, and guys, forgive me, I've been at work uh, really early this morning. I'm really tired, so if I seem out of it, that's why. Allergies are also going haywire, but we're okay. We're going to get through this because, you know, Kyrie sustains us. Fanboy too much? Fanboy a little too much? Just a little bit? Eh, I'm kind of excited for her. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in the upcoming pull video. See ya. If I hit the button right, that would... That would work. <laughs>